what you're looking at. You're, mo you're wiggling it back and forth. Get a wide view. Go look at the school. Jiggling it around? One and a half calories. Aloha and welcome to Hifatna. You're on the island of Honolulu. Wow.
Yes, you are. How come all of your films don't look very good? You're moving. I think I'm lying. Uh huh. <laughs>
dumb and ugly. Get away. Stop.
and welcome to Sealy Park's Whalers Cove. We are delighted to introduce to you the Nike of the Dolphins and indeed our very special hybrid. We would like to begin and introduce to you an animal that you'll never find anywhere at deep of this year. She weighs about 700 pounds. So far, she has proven to be a very good learner, but a big flighty and unpredictable at times. But she has been recently introduced here at our Waiters Cove show. And now out in center stage, we'd like to introduce to you some of the old time dolphins that's been with our shows for many years. In center stage, Kaleon Mikioi would like to say aloha and welcome to our performance this afternoon. These are the Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. Miki Oi brought to Sea Life Park from the state of Mississippi. Kaleo, one of our homegrown dolphins born and raised at Sea Life Park, Hawaii. And then working from our ship, the Essex, we have Kaivi. He extends a warm greetings to all of you this afternoon. Kaivi, our Pacific bottlenose dolphin. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Sea Life Park is always proud when we can introduce to you many of our homegrown animals, such as Kaleo, Kekaimalu Arwalfin, and also her half-sister named Itsy Bitsy. Itsy Bitsy is about 13 years old. She is an Atlantic bottlenose dolphin. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's have a nice hand for Itsy Bitsy. So the animals that you see to the far right there, Kekaimalu and Itsy, are half-sisters. Today, we would like to show you the Hawaiian way for Keola Ike Kai, the life in the sea. We now share with all of you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a famous Hawaiian legend that still lives on today, the legend of Naupaka, the endearing love story between a princess named Naupaka and her fisherman. The blowing of the traditional Hawaiian conch shell signifies the beginning of an important event. The legend of Naupaka begins. In the midst of the ehukai, the sea spray, in the cool ocean breeze of Makapu'u, at the island of Mokumana, a fisherman calls to his friends of the sea. Upon hearing the echoes from the island of Mokumana, the most powerful one named Kaibi leaps with exuberance a lele'i luna. The Nike of the Dolphins are his iconic kai. These are his friends of the sea. He is anxious to return home to the family with baskets of seafood. With a strong net of the Olana fibers, he will now gather the fish from the sea. For many, many long nights, they have seen Lokahi gathering vana, opihi, and limu from the reefs. But the oceans are rough, and it's been difficult for him. With tremendous power, as Kaibi leaps a chase, the makana ia, the gifts of the sea into his nets, he will always remember his ai kai. These are his friends of the sea. At that island of Mokumani, there lives a lovely Hawaiian princess. Her name is Naupaka. Everyone came for miles around to hear her sweet voice, to see her lovely smile. She would like to dance for you. Ladies and gentlemen, for our lovely princess, Kavai Lele Ondu'ua. Lokahi says, come, Princess Nalpaka, come and meet my friends of the sea. And he calls them each by their special names. There's Miki Oi, he is the perfect one. And then there's Kaleo, 
the voice from the sea, as they present the Makana'ia, the gifts of the sea, to the night of the dolphins. Her guardian spirits of the heavens are the lovely Evilani seabirds. These are the famous men of war or the great frigates. These seabirds you see flying just overhead do very little fishing on their own. Oftentimes you'll see them harassing other seabirds, forcing them to drop a portion of their fish catch. For that reason, the Hawaiian people call these birds Manu Iva. It is a Hawaiian name, which means bird thief. These seabirds are members of Sea Lion Park's free-flying colony of Hawaiian seabirds. To our knowledge, this colony is unique. There are no other free-flying colony of seabirds in the world today. The Lake of the Dolphins would now gather together. They celebrate, they rejoice with the lovely princess and her warm love shared with our fisherman Lokai. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, out in center stage, please focus in. They're Aikani Kai, they're friends of the sea. Leaping with joy, a Ivana a Huli. Let's have a nice hand, everyone, for Kaleo and Nitsi Bitsi. For the Hawaiians, the sea is life itself. It is a source of all, the mother of life and of good things. It is also the highway to the ancient homeland of Tahiti, where still today the people sing, here are the canoes, come aboard, return and dwell with us in green-clad Hawaii, a land discovered in the ocean. The Hawaiians did not hunt plunder nor destroy the sea. They guarded and protected it much like a farmer does his land. If fishing was not good, the chief decreed that the reef be kapu. Fishing there was forbidden. In this way, the reef had time to grow and to replenish itself. They knew and were known by the animals and the sea. The lovely princess and the fishermen will journey forth to seek the advice of the honored Hawaiian elders to approve of their love and perhaps of their marriage for each other. Gathering around their canoe to give them happy support to send them on their way, Kaidi, Mikioi, Kaleo, and the one and only Itsi Bitsi, especially greetings to their friends. In Hawaii, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, when friends and family get together, they have lots of fun. They eat, they drink, they have a villa kahao, which is a little ghost of the dolphin from Hawaii. And then, a lovely flower lay for Itsy Bitsy. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're proud to present to you our lovely Hula Fins of Waiters Cove in true Hawaiian style, Hula Oni Oni, Wiggle Wiggle Hula style. And to the far right, there's our Walfin, Kei Kaimala, doing the hula, Walfin style, hula, oni, oni, Kei Kaimala. Her name means the peaceful sea. Once again, Kei Kaimala, some of you have just walked into the Waiters Cove show, is a unique hybrid of a false killer whale and an Atlantic bottlenose dolphin. By the way, many people often ask, how did this ever happen, producing a Walfin? Well, both mother and dad did it all by themselves. They met on the job here at Sea Life Park. They got together and produced Kei Kai Mamu. The dolphins are fine emissaries for the lovers as they now gather together in a celebration dance. Hearing the rhythmic beatings of the Tahitian drums, this is the dance from the islands of Tahiti. Slapping their tails in time to the beat, kahi, e lua, e kolo, e ha, e lima, five, and a celebration dance. How about that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? That's a welcome from our dolphins to all of you. We're proud to also introduce to you their favorite companion, our sea dog on their canoe. His name is Ilio Aokai Ho'omalu Okamoku. That long, very impressive Hawaiian name means the sea dog and protector of the island. Kamoku in Hawaii is known as a typical Hawaiian poi dog, 
It's interesting because he looks very similar to the types of dogs the ancient Hawaiians brought here. Please focus them towards the canoe. Soon they'll be venturing home to their island of Mokumana. The dolphins bid them a fond farewell until we meet again. A lele even a kaleo right up and over. As they venture home, home at last, they would like to show them that safe journey home. And Moko Ko, Kaidi boy, are you ready? I have a hele keia. Watch that dolphin as he takes off from there on the island of Mokumana. He will gain his speed underwater, he'll surface to grab a necessary breath of air. And if you watch closely, also Kate Kamelo Wolfen is also joining in Kaidi on this race around the island. But that is what is well displayed by dolphins out in the wild, chasing after a school of fish. Let's have a nice hand, everyone. Kate Kaimelu, our Wolfen, Kaidi, our Pacific body. In center stage also to join in, showing them that safe journey home. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mikioi and Kaleo. These are the Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. And there goes Itsy Bitsy. Good girl, Itsy. They have arrived home safely at their island of Mokumai. We once again direct your attention to the center of Waders Cove. Out in center stage, Mikioi. Once again, this dolphin brought to Sinai Park from the state of Mississippi, Alela Ivana Ehuli Mikioi. He winds up with an outstanding demo back flip. Nice Mikioi. Focus just in front of that rope line, the dolphin from Hawaii. His name is Kaivi, 600 pounds of a dolphin. With a splash. Once again, out in center stage, the Atlantic bottlenose dolphin. Let's have a nice hand, everyone, for our sophisticated performance. True agility of dolphins. And once again, out in the center stage, we're certainly proud to introduce to you Kate Kaimelu. We remember had recently introduced in our show, so she is just beginning to pick up some of the basic behaviors. She has proven to be a very, very good learner. Out in the center stage, Herman Melville, author of the novel Moby Dick, says these are the lads before the wind. They swim in hilarious shoals, tossing themselves to heaven like caps in the 4th of July parade. And once again, together, Miki Oi and Kaleo, camera fans, please focus in. These are the Atlantic Bottenose Dolphins. As a team, they've been together at our shows for the past 15 years. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Kaleo and Miki Oi. At the island of Mokumana, the elders are unable to persuade the high priest, who remains unshaken in that old Hawaiian belief that royalty and commoner will not marry. The lovely princess will now take this white flower from her hair, and she tears it in half. She gives that half blossom to Lokahi, and she says, I shall go to the mountains to live my life alone. You must return to the seashore. Never again will we meet. This, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is a very famous Hawaiian legend that still lives on today. This is the legend of Naupaka. If you take a look at the island, this is the Naupaka plant. Interesting, it only contains half blossoms. May we always remember the enduring love story, the famous Hawaiian legend of that princess. Who knows that perhaps someday these flowers will bloom and whole and that the young lovers will be together again. To the left of the island, please focus in. It is our sea dog's favorite behavior. He waits all throughout this entire show and it's just about to happen. There goes the dog, and here comes our fisherman bidding a fond farewell to the princess. How about that, boys and girls? Ladies and gentlemen, Lokani, you're looking good. We're hoping for a good landing. Can you do it? Let's have a nice hand, everyone, for the fisherman, Roman Ride Stein. Not so easy to do. And that was done very well. All of the animals says that was a good job, Lokani. We hope you've enjoyed the legends and lore of marine mammals. But always remember, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, our finest legacy could well be the survival of marine mammals. Have we seen some of the loss to these wonderful creatures? Only time will tell. But hopefully with the knowledge and human awareness that oceanariums present to you today, we will continue to enjoy these wonderful animals now and for all of our future generations. Let's have a nice hand, everyone, for the girls of Waders Cove, our Walton and our half-sister, Itsy Bitsy. 
Itsy Bitsy the most petite of all, the lovely Walfin, Kate Kaimalu, the voice from the sea. With this final behavior, we would like to say from all of us to all of you, aloha. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for joining us this afternoon. You've been a wonderful audience, and we certainly appreciate that. And let's have a big, big hand for our fine performing team of animals. We hope you've enjoyed their performance. But before all of you leave, please let's have a nice hand for the lovely Princess Nalpaka at her island of Mokuma. On board our ship, the Essex, our fishermen, and please say goodbye to all of the animals. Arigatou gozaimashita, sayonara. And until we meet again, have a good day at Sea Life Park, Hawaii. Why? That one ain't wasting it. Yeah. One... Yes, look. Then don't give him. You don't need. <laughs> don't pass. That's it. Get out of here. Stop. Look. Don't give it to him. <laughs> give this one hungry. Uh, so no, look, look at this. Yeah, you want to catch. Hey, we're You look, there's a fish right there. Look, the fish. He's doing tricks with him. Yummy. <laughs> oh, my God, it's a whale. Oh, look at the big one. I like going down. There. No, there are some people floating around you, Dopey. It smell like them. Stupid. Oh, 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 hungry oh, bananas oh, and fake. They're real, but. Yeah. Please. <laughs> oh, no. Come here, Hana. Oh, oh, no. Don't tease her. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> don't give it to her. He's taking it. They're wasted. Oh. Get, it. get him, Hana, get him. Get him, Hana. Yeah, good. Mm. Good boy, Hana. Oh, he's so cute. Good boy, Hana. Here, save some for another. He's eating mine. Hey! <laughs> Look at his mouth.
BRB? Where's that one? And then we come to these are two more ones. They're like it's like checkers. If you do hmm, you do thing, you take it and you take it. You see it? Okay, let me show you. And you go like this, sting, and you rock it, you pick up that and you take it. Do you understand me? Okay. That's just how I'm doing it. Go make the fish nets, Mrs. Clappy. Mrs. Clappy. She looks so Hawaiian. Holy sweet guest. Yes. What is the whole idea of the woman again for that? Go! It's still on! Into a front flipper walk! Into a... <laughs> okay, into a front flipper walk. Come on. Come on, Then I'll pull you off that there. Okay, I'll take that. Popping up on to that podium. Finishing up a nice front flipper stand. There you go, our Hawaiian style California sea lion. Kelly. Give yourself a flipper. Okay, she was pretty good. She gets a well-deserved fish reward. And who's the way... <laughs> Wait a minute, Kelly. She would like to say aloha to everybody. Okay, there you go. Aloha, sea lion style. Maybe her more sea style than still. Okay. Both of you take Kelly back stage right now. We'll be continuing on with the rest of our show. By quite a fully grown. Spice clocking in around 350 pounds. Fully grown male. Do we'd like to bring up the star of our show. Here is Spike. Something's wrong here. Let's try it again. Here's the star of our show, Spike. He needs a helping hand. How about putting those hands together? Let's see if he turns Spike around. Come on out here, Spike. Look at your audience out there. Look at the water in front of you. How about going in for a quick kiss? Yes, sir, he says. And there he goes, sliding right into the water. Spike the Water. 
I don't see no bite marks. Give your trailer nice put the shake, and of course that night there. How would you like to give everybody out there a <laughs> What a smile. What a hand. About a core, I think speak to a silent thing. On our next show, Tammy Faye Baker Masters here for our big wig make. about you. <laughs> I'm going to turn away from you. I know. Okay, I'm going. Bye. Look at him. What's he doing with his feet? Close. He's gonna come in here. He's gonna hit us. I think he's gonna touch. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs>
I mean, everybody's so lucky, especially Shannon. I mean, she's already 20 years old. My sister's so lucky. She gets to party with guys. Oh, I can't wait till I'm like 20, out of college and all I of that, know. you know? I wonder what it's like to kiss a guy. Let's watch, um, let's watch some TV. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. Look at those girls. Look at her. She's like us. Yeah. yeah. What if they're oh older? My <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. Oh you look so good. We should get so some good. oil on um, drive away. Definitely. We told you this would work, didn't we? Drive away. It, it works. works. Come on, let's go find it. Let's go scam some guys. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh man, I've heard enough. Oh yeah, we should get that. That dryable lay or something that like that. That is so awesome. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just imagine how we'd be. Didn't we? We got we got some in the mail, didn't we? Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah, go get it. Um, oh yeah, it's in my room. Okay, okay go get okay, it. I'll be right back. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ugh, what is that? Okay. I got it. Is this it? Yeah. Yes. Let's put it on. Let's put it on. Okay. Let me have some. Oh, right, yeah. make us so much older, yeah? Yes. Okay, okay. okay let's switch it off now. Yep. Oh, hope it's going to I hope this is going to be better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we got enough. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Whatever. I mean, it's good. Really good. Jelly. Jello. It's even good for me. <laughs> for life's greatest pleasure.
talk to this guy. Uh, we may have a problem. Listen, I want you to uh, tell me exactly what you just said. Repeat it, all right? Well, I just wanted to warn you that uh, Angela Raymond received a court order this morning to halt the demolition of the slaughterhouse. She's going to ignore it. The place is going up in about 15 minutes. Ted, is that you? Kelly, what are you doing down at headquarters? My God, are you sure? Are you sure the demolition is still yeah, under? Wait a minute, what's going on? What's Reese's beeper number? Fat lot of good that'll do you. He left his beeper behind. Oh, God. We have to get over to the slaughterhouse now. Come on, now. let's go.
party's internal polls show Clinton leading by There's Nikki Tina. And it's Gabbage tonight. Today, Bush may have the kitchen thing on this film. By easing restrictions on commercial development of Alaskan wetlands. That's our dog, Nikki. She's gonna go sick of anyone who comes near us. Right, Nick? Yeah? Put out down in there, and every worker is going to depend on reasonable balance between an environment and growth and business is going to be out of work. Kristen, no, no. Put it away, please. Why? Hi. Let me, let me do it. For our date. <laughs> Let me do it. I'm gonna do it. Alright, here. So you put okay, here. Let me see your hand. Put it in here. And then boom. Yeah, and then this is pushing it up. Yeah, and you can push is forward. Are you recording? Yeah. Good. Notice Kristen has her fly open now. <laughs> You're not really good at like tape those, really. This is ten dollar bill. Do you ever know who's on ten dollar bill? <laughs> you don't really notice. <laughs> this is a ten dollar bill. Am I pushing anything bad? No. This is Kristen. Notice she dyed her hair red today. <gasps> oh, <yes. laughs> I didn't have her on enough. <laughs> no. are inappropriate for young children's behavior. So we're gonna go through the kitchen now. Holly back. Oh, looking very sexy. <laughs> hey baby, want a good time? Call 749177. Who are you calling? Arsenio's on. That's not Arsenio though. That's who is that? I don't know who that Where is. Where do you put your armies and your sleeveys? <laughs> you like that one, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Holly's waiting. I mean, Kristen's waiting. That's Kristen. <laughs> Extreme close-up. <laughs> We're doing a little Wayne's World thing here. <laughs> We're married and we have like 20 kids. You, you can, like, can put. You can this. Pasta.